I mean, what what opinion do I need to have? I was right. He financed and supported the same thing he did with Cassidy. Seven-year-old Porter's body found after a desperate call to 911. EMS 14, respond with engine 76 on scene of the cardiac what updates do you have on the situation between Kim Porter and Diddy? The public's unwelcome attention that he is receiving as a result of allegations that he may have contributed to Tupac's demise. However, rumors regarding his ex-girlfriend Kim Porter are already spreading online. According to recent research, she could have been aware that Diddy was involved in Biggie Smalls and Tupac's murders. It appears that his situation is becoming even more convoluted. We have all the information, but before I provide it, please subscribe to our channel and press the alert bell to get future updates. Let's start watching videos like this one now. Kim tragically died in 2018 at the age of 47. The official report states that complications from pneumonia caused her death. However, here is where things get hazy. According to some insiders, Diddy could have had a role in her passing. Rumor has claimed that she intended to release a reveal book with some details about him. And that's when her pneumonia strikes. You say you're having doubts. It has even been discussed that the initial coroner's report classified her death as a murder due to the poisons in her body. Kim was jogging when she died, according to testimony given in court by her ex-husband, Albie Schur, demonstrating that her death was a murder. Plot complexity increases. Recall the time Kim dated Def Jam frontman Shocker Stewart, who passed away. Who can tell, even if it's been stated that he committed suicide? Similar to a jigsaw puzzle with too many missing parts, Coincidences that occur in the same location can reveal more than they first appear to. Is it possible Kim knew that Biggie and Tupac had died? Did Diddy keep her silent in order to protect his secret? It's time to investigate this further. Kim and Diddy carried on their romance. Furthermore, it's believed that Kim had access to a great deal of Diddy's personal information. Nobody is certain what those materials are made of, but they were said to include private information regarding Diddy and his involvement in a number of activities. Diddy has a song on his just-released album, Kim Porter, that is dedicated to his late spouse. In a recent interview, Diddy stated that, despite his goals, Kim continues to motivate him and that the song is a message to her. Not everyone was into it, even when he managed to get John Legend to perform for her. Many continue to believe Diddy was involved in Kim's unexplained death. Rumor has it that model and actress Kim Porter is the mother of three children by music mogul P. This afternoon, Diddy vanished and was discovered here. It is now stated that she did die of a disease with natural causes. However, there's a lot of bustle at the house right now since friends and relatives are here. Let's go over the history in brief. Kim was an actress and model who worked for Andra Harrell at Uptown Records, where she eventually met Diddy. She was seeing Albie Schur at the time. Diddy couldn't help but feel the same way about her. Shortly after having a kid together, Albie and Kim separated. Kim and Diddy began dating in 1993. Over the course of their erratic 13-year relationship, they had three children together. The genuinely awful news is this. It was never Diddy's proposal. When Kim learned in 2007 of his second kid with Sarah Chapman, everything had finally come to an end. And the worse it gets. Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, recently spoke up to the Art of Dialogue about a few very personal things. Gene said that in addition to being emotionally abusive against Kim, Diddy also mistreated her physically. Jane shared a horrifying story of how Kim had to use a corkscrew to protect herself. It is true that you did hear that. One evening, Kim had to defend herself at her house on 110th Street when Diddy went too far. She ripped a corkscrew from her hand, severing an artery in his wrist. Jane was thrown into this commotion because they had to bring him to Street Luke's hospital. 
That's not all, though. Jean also said that Diddy was quite domineering, sending henchmen following Kim to make sure she avoided talking to other guys. He had cheated on her for nearly 10 years at this time. It's a jumble of lying and cruelty. Kim and Diddy's dispute simply gets worse and worse. Following one of their several breakups, Kim began dating Def Jam executive Shakir Stewart. Diddy was enraged upon learning about their connection. The dispute turned into a violent altercation during which Kim injured her nose. The majority of stories on this event appear to have vanished, however, one from 2005 regarding the altercation on Diddy's boat in St. Tropez was located. Kim's nose was allegedly fixed by a cosmetic surgeon that Diddy hired. Then she said that she accidentally injured herself by hitting her nose on a table. But as this story progresses, things get harder. Kim persisted in seeing Shakir in defiance of Diddy's cautions. After Shakir's injuries were discovered on November 1, 2008, he passed unexpectedly at home in Atlanta. Even though it was officially deemed self-inflicted, words soon got out. Some claim that Kim revealed Diddy's involvement in Biggie and Tupac's deaths, which sparked rumors that Shakir's death wasn't as simple as it appeared. On her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those corch screws and ripped his wrist up and hit an artery. Rumor has claimed that Diddy's bond with Kim is the reason behind his threat to beat Shakir. It resembles a suspenseful scene from a movie. Something that Kim had told Shakir and Diddy made Diddy very angry. He degraded Shakira in front of witnesses at his hotel in a fit of wrath. Although Kim and Diddy had a close connection, it's still unknown exactly what Kim knew about Pac and Biggie's death. However, it appears probable that Kim knew something important. Diddy became upset when Jane Deal told Kim that she was thinking about Pac. Even though Tupac didn't have Diddy's wealth, Kim could have loved Tupac more than she did Diddy. Because Kim often mentioned Tupac on Instagram before her passing, there were speculations that she was somehow involved in the rapper's murder. At the 2015 LA Film Festival, she chose to stand next to Diddy while sporting a Tupac t-shirt, which sparked further accusations. Some say she made a hint about something she didn't know. Kim died tragically and abruptly on November 15, 2018, with complications from pneumonia included in the coroner's report, indicating that her death was likely an organic one. Even though she was sick before to her death, the report said that on November 14, she was responding well to medication and did not have a fever. But soon after her death, her admirers began to have second thoughts which grew stronger when Albie sure said in public that her death was a murder. Albie posted a touching picture of himself on social media in July 2020, but it has since been taken down, showing him sobbing as he recalled finding out about Kim Porter's passing. Although it was first stated that sickness was the only cause of her death, his heartfelt commentary alluded to more sinister notions. He hinted that there could be more to the tale, possibly even including Diddy, with the hashtag hashtag, don't let the love songs mislead you. Then, in an odd turn of events, Albie published a sentimental old photo of himself, Kim, Quincy, and Ryan Destiny, Quincy's former fiancé, in November 2021. He disclosed some nasty things in the caption. When Kim confided in him about feeling intimidated, he suggested that she contact the FBI for help. Albi suffered his own possibly fatal episode a few months later, passing away from multiple organ failure and going into a two-month coma. This knowledge made things worse. Though he recovered well, the cause of his unexpected health crisis is still unknown. Artist Jaguar Wright later stirred things up by connecting the mystery surrounding Kim's premature death to Diddy's possible connection to Albi's health issue. The rumor mill has been aided by the string of ex-members of their group, such as Andra Harrell and Heavy D. At first, it was believed that Kim's pneumonia death could have been a homicide due to the toxins in her body. 
However, certain poisons can resemble these symptoms and indicators. Bystanders are still fascinated and unnerved by the intricate web of mystery surrounding these incidents, which has forced new perspectives on the power dynamics and connections inside the entertainment business. Jaguar brought attention to a worrisome trend among Diddy's ex-girlfriends. At the time, every one of the people who died or had health problems was producing provocative books or films. Al Beecher, Kim Porter, Andra Harrell, and Heavy D were all involved in initiatives that were supposed to expose sensitive information. Andra and Heavy D were writing novels before they died, while Kim was working on her own book. Albie was making a documentary on his life before going into a coma in a similar vein. Supporters are pleading with the authorities to reconsider Kim Porter's case in light of Diddy's name reappearing in conversations and Keefe D's recent arrest for Tupac's murder. On social media, a lot of conjecture may be found. One fan has brought up Diddy's supposed relationship to the shooter and his proximity to Tupac's shooting. They speak about Kim's premature death from an unidentified illness and the premature passing of Al Bishur, the father of her son, many months later. Another fan highlights the increasing perception, especially on sites like TikTok, that Diddy will soon be the target of legal action. Both the idea that Diddy killed Kim and the question of whether Kim knew important information about Biggie and Tupac's murders have sparked a great deal of discussion. What are your thoughts on this story? Do you think Diddy pulled Kim aside to hide any important information about these earlier tragedies that Kim knew? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. As for me, I have only one thing to say. Two can keep a secret when one of them is. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.